you so much and welcome to Sedona. I'm Amy Williams. Um, I'm with Epic Asset Management. I'm their vice president. And I've been in property management, my gosh, 25 years now. Uh, the first phase of Sedona was built in summer of 2015 is when it was released. And then we've just recently released a second phase of Sedona, which has been in lease up and is just uh, wrapping up lease up now. Um, we decided to create a lead building so that we really were doing more than just creating a new building in a, in a market. Uh, we're in a tertiary market here where we're not in the core downtown market. We're slightly outside of that. So we wanted something that spoke to urban but in a non-urban environment. This is more of a residential area being Wedgwood. So we wanted something that was dynamic, that we could speak to, that we were giving back to the community. Leadership in an energy and environmental design is what LEAD stands for. So we wanted to really make sure that we honored that by not just going by the checklist, but making sure that we were giving to the community and the residents so that their actual energy uh, costs would be reduced. So we've actually installed some great features like solar panels that will reduce the overall cost for things like heating water in the building. Um, the electricity captured for, from those solar panels are used to run things like our HVAC units here. And we also have a um, boilerless water system. So it's, it's a, a water system that's heated as it comes into the building through coils, opposed to in a large boiler system, which is very common, or hot water tank, so tankless, so to speak. Um, so that also saves the residents quite a bit of money um, and is less impactful on the overall environment. Um, we also have energy efficient windows that create less of a solar gain. So it costs less to heat and cool, keeps the environment um, easier for the resident to maintain, has less wear and tear on the furnishings and belongings. Um, and then as far as the building itself, we have uh, an eco garden, which is what we're actually sitting in now. Uh, we're starting to build a lot of micro apartments. They're not seen nationwide as much yet, but we're certainly celebrating them here in the Pacific Northwest and in the Seattle marketplace that's booming. It celebrates living small, having a smaller footprint, not needing as much, and has some really great unique features. Uh, one, for instance, the apartment that we're in now has this great lofted space, um, and it's one, fun, <laughs> but two, it best and highest utilization of space. We've got these soaring um, floor plans of space that go up uh, in a vertical way. So instead of going out, we're going up. Creating a sustainable environment is really the direction we all need to head so that we can make sure that as we are building all these great buildings that we're creating here in the Seattle marketplace, we're, we're creating something that lasts. The three to five dollar investment per unit that we make um, on a uh, LED light will pay us back tenfold over the course of a 10 year lifespan of it. And the investment we make on a per square footage basis pays us back tremendously on utility savings, on um, building wear and tear and the need to do rehabilitations in later days. It's really being respectful to the environment that we live in and being respectful to the residents in the building and the neighborhood. So thinking green is always a great perspective to not only have for your team, but to carry through to the residents in your building as well. People want to be part of something bigger than themselves and having a green program creates a sense of community.